Hello and welcome to the second video of Introduction to Programming Using Java. In this video we're going to be talking about setting up Visual Studio Code in Windows. So let's have a quick look at what we'll be doing. So for this video we need to remember four key points. Number one, we always need to have a Java development kit that we need to download. Number two, we then need to download and install our IDE. Number three, we need to make sure that the Java development kit and our IDE link up. And there are different ways of doing this depending on the IDEs. And number four, we need to make sure we create a project file for our Java. So let's try and do those four key points. Okay, so all I've done is I've gone to Google and I've entered Java development kit. Um, as you can see, there's a few uh, results. I'm going to go for the Oracle one. So if I see Java SE development kit, I'm going to click on that one. Um, I do know that kit eight, um, there are up later ones. So I'm not going to click on this one. I'm going to click on the Java SE downloads. And this takes me to number 14. And I'm going to download this JDK, the Java development kit here. So then it goes on to what packet I want. I want the Windows. For me, it's going to be the Windows installer. So I'm just going to download this one. Okay, so while that downloads, I'll stop the video. Okay, so I have downloaded it and now I am going to go through the wizard. So um, all I need to do is open up the file press next and I'm going to save it in the program file Java so remember that um, that it's important to remember where you've installed it in case something doesn't link up so you know where to look so you can help link up your Java development kit to your IDE so I'm going to save that and I'm going to let it install there we go it's installed successfully so if you remember, the next step is to download our IDE. Um, so I'm going to be using the Visual Studio Code. So all I've done is gone into Google and put Visual Studio Code on there. And then I'm going to click on the link. This takes me to uh, the website. I just want to download the installer for Windows. So I want the stable build. Again, I'm going to save it and then start the video once it's saved. So now that the file has downloaded, all we need to go is go through the wizard. So we're going to accept the agreement. We're going to save it in the location it's recommended. Save the shortcut. We're going to add the path. So we'll be talking a little bit about this later, probably more in other IDEs than Visual Studio. Um, and we, all we need to do is install it. So it's going to install and then um, once it's installed, we're going to make sure we can link up the development code with the IDE or the development kit with the IDE. Okay, so now that we've got our I, uh, the Visual Studio code installed, we just need to make sure that we link them up together. Now, um, for Visual Studio code, what we can do is we can actually find a, an installer to do that for us. So I've just gone and said Visual Java Visual Studio Code Installer and I've clicked on the uh, first one and this has a site that just talks about how we can get Java in Visual Studio Code and what I want to do is go down and I want to click on the Pack Installer and this will help us um, install not just one but uh, many so if we save that and then as soon as that's downloaded I'll start again so if you hang on one moment okay it's downloaded but before I um, I install it I just wanted to sh point out that this is this packet this installer is only available for, for Windows and so this is why I'm going to be doing another video um, where I'm going to be using my Mac OS the virtual machine and doing the same installation but for that because what we'll have to do is we'll have to do individual components and install them 
Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be uh, opening up that file that I got. And then I'm going to be cycling through this. So what we should see here is that we've already installed the development kit. That should be installed. We've already installed the Visual Studio. That should be installed. So we install this packet and it should just link up both of them while installing those extensions. Okay, so if we put finish, we should now have a Visual Studio code environment that we can now um, write Java with. So let's open it up and see. Okay, so let's open the Visual Studio. So it will accept Java now. So if you click on new file, um, and let's say you write some Java, uh, and you, let's say you save it, and I'm just gonna save it as hello. There will be a problem. So if we go down to the problem, we say that um, okay. If we say look at the problem, we see that hello Java is a non-project file. So what we cannot do or what we should not do is just open new file and put Java as an extension. What we need to do is kind of create a folder and it creates that source code. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using Visual Studio to create the project for us. So let's see how we do that. Okay, so I've gotten rid of the Hello Java. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a project. Um, so what I want to do first is I want to go to the view and I want to go to the command palette and the command palette I want to do the um, Java create new project so I want to click this and what will happen is it will just tell me what kind of project tools what do I want so I'm just going to say I want a project without any build tools so I'm going to click on this one and it asks me the location so I've just saved it in my um, I've just saved it in my document Java project folder so I've select this location and then um, what I'll need to do is I'll just need to put in my uh, Java project name so let's say app one and I press enter and then what you can see here is I now have my app one project and um, if we look at source code it has the first Java file in it as well as it has um, some code already done so that could be the first code and if you want you can add more um, you can add more folders within and more Java files within this project but that's how you should do it and if you run this now you will not get any uh, problems you'll be able to see that it actually executes and there is that no error that says non project file. So now that you are able to create a project file, you'll be able to start working and creating Java code. Okay, so before we finish, um, to ha make sure you have a good understanding, you need to be able to answer these questions. What are the three things that you need to install? Um, a better understanding, you should be able to answer what you need to do if you have a non project file error. How do you correct that? And the last one, if you can um, add multiple Java files to your project, then you have a great understanding. You're actually exceeding what we learned today. So if you found this useful, please subscribe. So if you want to continue learning about Java um, with my videos, please join me next week for another video. Goodbye, and I'll see you later.